questions from the internet at KJM1016 on Twitter. What do you think will be the biggest life-altering innovations for humans in the next hundred years? Oh, I, I got one for the next 20 years, and that's our power of control over the human genome, where we can then alter the genetic identity of what it is to be human. And yes, there's total diabolical consequences to that if in the wrong hands. But if in the right hands, you can get rid of diseases that have curtailed the lives um, and, 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 and altered the lives of so many people, you can um, possibly live longer and if you can hang on long enough for that, Larry, we keep you going. Yeah. Okay, wine <laughs> for another up. another hundred years. Yeah. So, uh, bio biogenetics is is in the near future, not even the next hundred years. Look for it. At Buff Vegzo on Twitter, on one of your Larry King interviews, you had a very moving scientific explanation of what happens when you die. After watching it, I wanted to know if you're afraid of death. Uh, yes, I fear death because. I'm born knowing only life. And it's, it's t of course you fear something for which you have no life experience touching. But at this point, I do not fear death because on my tombstone, what I want written is a quote from Horace Mann. Be ashamed to die until you have scored some victory for humanity. And I think in my life, and this week I turn 60, I know that I'm a young tyke to you, but <laughs> You're a baby. I'm a baby. I got Just born baby. Older than you. <laughs> Larry. Uh, I'm born the same week that NASA was founded. I think I've accomplished enough in my life so that if I die, that I'm that tombstone will still be true for me. Yeah, good. So no, I don't fear death. I fear not having accomplished all that I could have before I die. Daniel Marr in the Larry King Now blog. If you had a day to spend with President Trump, what topics would you cover with him? I would give a full explanation of what role innovations in science and technology play in the growth of economies. He's a businessman. At some level in there, he thinks about business decisions. And there's no more impactful force operating on the profitability of a business than what innovations you have that give you an advantage over anyone else, your competitors, in this case would be nations. Can we get back in the ring the way we were in the second half of the 20th century? I think he could respond to that in a way that could benefit us all, if that's if I had a day in the room with him. Ian Thompson on the Larry King Now blog, despite some of his recent troubles, what do you make of Elon Musk? Oh, I think he's, he, Elon Musk, my gosh, why is everyone getting all on his case? If he wants to get high on a Joe Rogan podcast, and you let him, let him be the individual that he is. And he, he's, he's creating, he has, he's a force in society that's like, like a, 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 a cross-pollination of Thomas Edison and Tony Stark from the Avengers, okay? You cross-pollinate those two folks, you get Elon Musk. Now, he's got a publicly traded company you don't cross the SEC, okay? You must obey the regulations regarding your public company. But otherwise, give the man some space. Let him be an individual. What, do you want to homogenize him so he looks like any other person in a boardroom? What would that be? M. Day Greenbold on the Larry King. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, as they say, to be a genius is to be misunderstood, but to be misunderstood is not to be a genius. Just want to make that clear, okay? <laughs> M.D. Grinbaud on, the, on Twitter, do you think there is a flat planet in the universe? No. <laughs> Let me say it louder. No. <laughs> Lisa Dooley on the Larry King, Larry King Now blog, do you ever want to retire? Oh, retire. I mean, think about what retire means historically. It's you have some job this is your labor. You're a farmer in the field. You work in a factory. And so you take vacations from that to get a break. You retire, because you, so you have some retirement income to not do this anymore. But suppose what it is you do is your first love. Then retirement is not some reward. It's punishment. Vacation is not some thing to escape from. It's like 
when is my vacation over so I get back to doing what I really want to do? <laughs> so, no, I'll do this to my grave. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.